All right, we're back with part two. So, we left off with talking about how Gilgamesh was only in one scene in the entire game. So, why don't we go from there and talk about all the actual servants that are actually playable within the actual story. I said actual like four times there. I'm forgive me for my overuse of actual. Um, well, I'm, I got a list right here, so give me a sec. Nero, Nameless, Gawain, Luke, Kukulain, Tantamo, Elizabeth. None of these other terrors are playable. And then you go over to Charlemage, Astolfo, Robin Hood, and I think Arjuna, but only at the end. That's it. That is your main cast when it comes to the actual first playthrough. You you can a lot you can get your Janae uh if you go through a different route on uh, one of the routes. You can get Janae, but she's not always there. And then doing your second playthrough once you talk to Archimedes, you get Karna, you get Arjuna earlier, you get Ultra, and I think that's it. You get three more servants. I also I think you got I think you get Archimedes as well. I scan this, goes for itself. He pierced once, he for itself. Artoria, Lily pierced once, he fired her, then she never appears. There is literally no Artoria and Lancelot like combo, like combat. Like, you know, you know, you know how hot, like, you know, and there's only one time Green and Lancelot fight, and that's early on, so. Wow, way, thanks. They, thanks for bringing Lancelot into the fray and then having him literally just be fodder servant. Lubu, Medusa, Khan, like, a lot of servants that appeared from the old games are li from, li from the last game are just, they are not, they are non existable when in the actual game. It's pathetic. See, cause that's, cause that's a hype servant, a popular servant a lot of people know. You don't get to play her. You have to fight her. You fight her twice. One in the main story. One in the in the in the secret path. You don't get to play her. She never becomes a playable character. She dies. In all routes, she dies. Wow. Like I scanned her. I scanned her appears once. You you fight him. You fight him off. He he freaks off like Gilgamesh. It's like. What the frick? Like, I know, I know, I know Nero killed you in the last game, but I thought you would put that aside because of Carl. Because you're not corrupted. He's not corrupted, which we'll get into that in a moment. But he's just, he just freaks off. He freaks off. He literally does not become a player of service. The only way you can play him in the actual story is once you beat, you beat the main, you beat one of the two, you, got, you get one of the two endings. Which then allows you to more or less have free roam on the rest of the characters. Which I just, I just hate. Because it means that literally, all, like, at least with Extella, you could play, you theoretically could play all the servants. The only two servants you never got to play were Artoria, who was a secret, who you had to unlock. Archimedes, who was the main villain. And then Elizabeth. Three out of the sixteen out of the sixteenth server from the old game, you did not get to play, and that's because one was a secret character, and the other two were the villains. Well, I guess you could you technically could only play as Nero, Nero, Nameless, Temtamo, Con, Ka, Ka, Temtamo, Kana, and then of course Alter Gil, Gilgamesh, but the other characters had prominence in the story; they were there. They they existed. They they were on your at some point or another. Every character aside from Archimedes, Elizabeth. Well, even Elizabeth, she's a, she was originally on your side in Thomas Row before she trade for Archimedes. Archimedes, I think Archimedes never really did anything. Though technically he was on your side in Altera's route, and then Toria again. Was a secret. You had to literally do certain things in order to unlock her. But again, they were all part of the story. 
they all were, you know, your allies at some point, aside from Artoria. Literally, half the cast do nothing. Lishi, you see him like once. He, like he does a cool little thing. Never again. Just, I just hate it. I just hate it. If this is how it's gonna be, I'd rather cut have them cut down the cast. I'd rather be something they can work with, rather than just oh, all these all these characters from before. All these characters you, that, you know, you might have good memories of. They were actually kind of enjoyable from the old game. You don't get to interact with them at all. The only time you get to interact with them is the villains. And, again, it's hard to tell if they're the real ones or the, fu or the fake ones. Because not only do you have to deal with the all the servants, all the normal servants being, you know, assimilated and turned, um, or more or less having childish ideology affect them. But, guess what? You know that thing about Gilgamesh being used to be pow the power of factory that makes servants? Well, guess what? You have to deal with all that. So, it really becomes hard to tell. Like, it's like, because in, in the, when you're playing, you have no idea if it's, this is the actual servant or if this is just a fake servant, a fake version of the servant. It's like, it's like, it's, it's like, how, it's like, like, they don't make any way to shell, like, other than, you know, the main boss will appear, and that you know for a fact that's not a fact servant, that's just the actual servant. But, again, it's like, really? Lubu is not, is just reduced to nothing more than just fodder. He's, like, he's reduced even worse. He's become shadow fodder. I think you have to face him once or twice, but more or less, he just becomes freaking shadow servant. He, it's like, dang. Like, again, uh, there's the they chose they choose to focus on they have this big cast but choose to focus too little on any of them. Having Charlie made she won't want to own the entire show. Oh, and literally, and this is spoilers again, though. Again, this is a review, I'm pretty sure I'll have to put spoilers in regardless. But, spoilers, if it wasn't for Kana having been corrupted early on. Altera would have died. Giles would have killed Altera. So, you know, thanks, Charlie Mage. Thanks for telling me that she'll be safe in that castle. Because <laughs> she almost died. If it, wasn't for if, it if it wasn't for Karna, she would have died. And literally, the everything I we've done, it, we did in Extella would have been for nothing. So thanks, Charlie Mage, you freaking useless servant. <sighs> Again, I'm, I'm sorry if it seems like, hey, Charlie Mage, I like him. But God, is he annoying! I will take two. I will take the Nero's and the Tamos bickering over Charlie Mage any day. I will take them to arguing, cause at least with them, it's adorable. They're arguing. They are fighting over you. They're fighting over Hawking and That's adorable. And even Hawking was like, uh, like she's she's so used to it. It's like. If she was without it, she'd probably be like, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that you two aren't arguing over me. <laughs> it's disturbing. I prefer it when you two just literally fought over me. Like, like again, I like Charmage. I like him. But God, could, I, could he have been done less? So, but yeah, in the teaser, I bring all these cool servants that would have rivals. Darius and Skander never interact. Gaius and Janae never interact. They team up once, but they never fight. Lancelot and Atoria, they never fight. Gawain and Lancelot fights once. He likes Gadatch and Kuka Lane fight. They that's more or less that that's more or less her one time moment to shine. And then Arjuna and Karna. They go off in this big blast. They take this each other out of the head. Arjuna uses Pashfuta as like a blast. Ar um, Connor counters it with a Vesta Vishanti. And he literally creates this singularity black hole thing. It's kind of like, oh, like that's one of the good moments. That's one of the good moments. It's like, oh, this is amazing. One of the good moments of 
the uh, one of the good modes. Oh, and another thing I want to bring up. Carl's boss fight. I like it. It was fun. It, it, it was it got a little bit annoying, but overall I found it enjoyable. So all the annoying parts was worth it. And especially doing his fine his fi like the final ending where he basically becomes he goes from this once this like this once this like mm, excuse me this um like one round boss two out three uh, like a uh, three a uh, round three rave like he goes from his normal full arm mech to just being all uh, just hobbling around on his front two legs. And then once his back is truly destroyed, he walks out and it's like, all right, Mari Mono, you and me, because all the other servers were, because all the other servers at the, by the end of the third, uh, by the end of the second, second round, they were tired. So you really get to literally 1v1 Carl the Grobe. And it is awesome. I did with Lancelot. It was like, ah, uh, this is, this is, this is fun. This is fun. This is enjoyable. But yeah, Carl, Carl is sort of a good character. Like, Carl, like, Carl's not as bad. Um, Carl... I think the thing, the thing that I awfully hate about Carl and Charmage is now that they are literally tied to Altera. Altera... Because it's revealed within the story, both of them found the shard of Altera. Altera's shard from when she was a Titan. They found it. They interacted with it, and they more or less got obsessed with literally doing stuff. Hold on, I gotta I gotta take a message real quick. It shouldn't be coming up, so give me a sec. Sorry, I'm best friend friend. Stuff like that. Anyways, but yeah, it it's his fight is enjoyable. He's not a terrible character. I just I like honestly, I wish he did more evil things. Like, give me a reason to hate him because I want to hate him. I would like I I love I would love it if I could hate him, but I can't because he's just he's he's bland. That's the thing. At least with Archimedes, he's a terrible character, but it's it's fun to hate him. It's fun to just like oh Archimedes you. You horrible, horrible servant. I freaking hate you. You you put all through, through all this crap. You put through all this crap. You are just, you are a literal despicable servant. You are horrible. We love you, but you're absolute horrible. Charm and calls on the other hand is just bland. Like he's he feels bland. He doesn't really do anything. He doesn't do anything that's really offensive. It's like I just want I just want to con I just want to conquer the moon. That's all I want to do. It's like okay, but I scanned it try to do that as well. I don't I don't really understand why you, we have to fight, but I guess we have to fight. Okay, whatever. Like like Archimedes made like Archimedes literally was doing everything he, in his power to make sure. Bellabor could come back to the our solar system and just finish what it started all those years ago. Like, he did not care about humanity. Like, like Carl's likable, but he's so bland that it's kind of counteracts it. So it's like, eh, you're, you, have, you have a cool design, you, you got an awesome boss fight, but your character's just bland. I get they were supposed to make it sympathetic, like, oh, they, they interacted with Ultra, they care about it. It's like, oh, yeah, but so do we. Like, we treat her like our own daughter. Like, come on, game. Oh, God, my voice is going, it's going bad. Ugh. Mm. Give me a sec. I go give me a drink. <laughs> 